What's up everyone, DDOT here, and today just want to go over the new sneak peeks that, one of the new sneak peeks that was just announced earlier today, and if you guys don't know that there are four new cars that were just announced today, and one of them in particular I'm actually really excited for to see that I want to use for my own personal deck or whatnot. So the four new cards are our Flying Machine, Mega Knight, Cannon Cart, and Skeleton Burrow. For these three new cards, there are, for me it's okay, but one in particular, and we'll start off with that one, is the Mega Knight. This one is a crazy card in my opinion, it's really cool. It's the newest tank that's going to be released into the game. And the last time we've had one since, I believe, was Lava Hound sometime last year in the summer. So, for this guy, for Seminole Elixir, he does a lot of things. To where it's, he has a spawn damage, he has splash, he has a charging effect similar to the bandit, and not to mention he's a tank. With this guy, I can see different beatdown decks arising because of this card because not only he's a tank he one of the most important things note for him is that he's able to do splash damage so say for like most tanks in the game or all of them so far either they target buildings or they target single troops so those tanks have a hard time dealing with swarm troops like Skeleton Army and Goblet Gang and stuff like that. But with the Mega Knight, he's able to deal with those grounded troops a lot easier. With that being said, you're able to use different cards in the deck. Say like a Mini P.E.K.K.A. instead of like um, Executioner or something. Just to give you more firepower behind your tank. Or maybe even the bandit as well. So that's what I'm excited for. Particularly I'm not a person that does. That uses beatdown. However that will be definitely one of the cards I'll be using for a beatdown deck. And for the next one. Skeleton Barrel. I definitely see this card coming into the meta. Whenever it's released. For 3 elixir. It. It's a card that threatens towers. It's um, very versatile. You're able to use it similar to like a battle ram, or you can combine it with like a hog rider, or you can combine it with a lava hound or a graveyard or stuff like that. And one of the most important things to note about it is that it's a common card. So you definitely would see this card similar to like how you saw the Goblin Gang when it first came out. You'll see it everywhere, and everyone has access to it. So we have to see how it will shift the meta. However, I my prediction is that I think that it definitely will shift the meta just because of how versatile this card seems to be. So next one is Cannon Cart. This one's a very interesting concept. Definitely for 5 Elixir, I don't know if that's worth the investment. However, having the concept of being a troop and being a building at the same time definitely seems like there's some interesting mechanics that will be there. And However, it's still too early to say, way too early to say how it will work because we've had multiple definitions on how this card will work. So I personally myself will refrain from giving in my thoughts on it because I'm not too sure how the card actually works. Because we don't have the information yet. At least accurate information. And the last one. Flying Machine. This one is very interesting. It's the first troop in the game. That is a ranged flying troop. It targets ground and air troops. However the range is 6. So that way it's able to shoot like. Inferno Tower or any other buildings across the map. If poorly placed so this card seems like it could be a very interesting support troop especially in those air effect decks or whatnot or lava loon however 
it dies to fireball because of the low hit points that it has it we may see a health buff to it if it is if it does get a health buff then we definitely would see lava hound shift back into the meta when that comes out however the fact that it dies to fireball is very similar to any other troop that dies to a um, spell within that range like fireball poison and stuff like that that's going to be you don't see some of those smaller troops that you see like in lower arenas use in meta decks because they die to fireball single-handedly so if we see the health buff to this card we definitely would see it in in beatdown decks just like how we saw the e-wizard for example when it first came out we didn't really see too much of it because it died to fireball so anything in tournament standards or definitely ladder it wasn't going to be used but since it got the hp buff we saw that e-wiz shifted into the meta because now you have to use lightning or rocket or more expensive spell to take care of it instead of using a four for four to get an even trade however you get tower damage on top of it so these are just my first impressions about it i'm very excited for mega knight definitely i'm gonna try that card out i'm gonna use in some decks or whatnot and just if you guys don't know too just uh, another leak that was found out earlier today that we're gonna have a 2v2 type of mode that's going to be like a ladder it's within the home screen so stay tuned for that it was leaked earlier today however we'll get we'll we'll get uh some news on it soon so just letting you guys know however thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys